they give us a 1099 summarizing the dividends. Let's say that the ordinary dividends is in box uh, one, $1,000. Let's just use that example. Qualified dividends was $800. All right, so what happens? We pull it over then to our form 1040, and we can see that it populates in the qualified dividends, 800, but the total is 1,000. It's not 1,800. It's just uh, the 1,000 and 800 of that 1,000 is qualified. We can see here, that they give us a nice little worksheet as well. Then I can see that there's nothing included in terms of Schedule B yet. Schedule B will be imported if certain conditions are met, such as, for example, you have uh, over 1,500. So notice that both qualified and unqualified, the 1,000 is being included in the 1,100 for the adjusted gross income. If I mirror that, in our software on this side, we can say, okay, and let's first 